So right now we have written our first rest assured test for our mock MVC setup and our spring MVC controller endpoint where we tested that the public endpoint is available without any authentication. Let's continue to our next endpoint. Let's quickly recap what this endpoint is all about. So our book controller has one post mapping endpoint where we can uh, create new books. And to create a new book, we have to pass a valid book request. And then internally, it will use the book service to create the book. We can think of that it then stores this book in the database. And right after creating the book, we are using the returned ID, which is the primary key of the book to populate the location header and then construct the path where our clients can then again retrieve the book they just created. So as we secure this endpoint with Spring Security, so right now any post request for slash API slash books needs authentication and also an admin role, we can um, write a test that ensures this. So therefore let's switch back to our test setup. So here I've added already the test method should this allow book creation without authentication. So we can now write a test that ensures this. So as part of the given step, let's make it explicit and say there isn't any authentication at all. So this is optional um, as rest assured won't populate any authentication for us out of the box. But nevertheless, it's um, better to be explicit here so other developers exactly know the setup for this test. Next, that we are going to perform a post request, we can specify the content type here. So we will send application JSON alongside this request. As part of the given step, we also specify already the body of our request. So here we can pass any file, byte array, string or object. So for our example, I've prepared an inline uh, JSON object that includes a valid payload. So a title, an ISBN and an author. Next comes the when step. And here we now specify that we want to perform an HTTP post. And the endpoint is still the same, slash API books. Next, uh, we can specify what we are about to expect. So as we don't pass any authentication, and as with at web MVC test and the auto configured mock MVC, the security rules apply for this test, we should then see here a status code of 401 meaning we were missing authentication. So let's run this test. We'll see here a green test indicating that the status code was 401. Let's quickly change it to 200 because we should never trust a test we haven't seen failing. And if we take a look at the result. So also if you're familiar with mock MVC, we will see here on failure the different attributes of our mock HTTP servlet request. So what we posted, what were the headers and what was the response type. And here you'll see the mock HTTP servlet response was 401, indicating we were unauthorized as we didn't specify any authentication and could now successfully verify that without authentication, we can't actually reach this endpoint. So let's go a step further and now ensure that in case we are authenticated, but we are lacking the admin role, that we are still not able to create a new book. So the rest assured mock MVC integration also comes with a great support for spring security test. So our project already includes the spring security test dependency that helps testing different authentication and authorization setups. So as part of our given step, we can now specify here with, and as part of this with, we can pass a security mock MVC request post processor. So this is coming from the Spring Framework security test package. And here we can now specify any arbitrary user we want to test this uh, endpoint invocation with. So here we can say, 
Let's test it with the user Mike. And for this user, we can also add roles. So let's say this user has just the user role, or I don't know, there's also the role VIP. And what will, this will do in the background, uh, Spring Security Test will populate a security context with exactly this user and these roles. So right now it's missing the admin role, which is required to create a new user. And hence this time we are expecting 403 as we are authenticated, but lacking authorization. This should be now the valid status code. Let's uh, run the test. And this is also what we see here. So test is passing, indicating that uh, the response code was 403. Let's quickly see it failing. So if we populate it here with admin and then rerun the test, we should see 200. So test is now failing. What I have expected, oh, it's not 200 as we are returning 201 uh, created. This test now failed because as soon as we are passing the required roles to this user here, we are able to reach the endpoint and can actually create a new book. But for now, let's replace it here and then continue with one final test for the happy path of a book creation. So this time we will use uh, the user Mike, but this time it has the admin role. So it's allowed to reach this endpoint. First thing we have to change here, we are now expecting status code 201. And one final check we can also make here is that we can inspect the header that we are expecting to populate, which is the location header. And this time we can use a Hamcrest matcher to ensure that the location header contains the string API books 42, where this 42 is the primary key of our created book. As we are now reaching our book controller, our book service uh, will be actually used. And as we mock it for our test, it returns null by default. So this book ID here would be null in case we don't stop the behavior of our book service. So that's one thing we shouldn't forget when now testing the happy pass that we actually have to stop our mock so in case our book service is called with create new book so here we can say if any instance of the book request class is passed we will then return 42 which is the primary key of the book for this test case and with this setup and a valid body we can run our test and now expect to have the happy path covered that's also what our test outputs here. So we now see here our final test should allow book creation for admin user, where we now ensure that in case we are reaching our endpoint with an authenticated user and the correct roles, we are able to create a book. In case you've already worked with Spring Security Test, you might be familiar with the with mock user annotation, where we can uh, specify the mocked user that will be then placed in the security context uh, by Spring Security Test for us. This also works with this rest assured mock MVC setup. So in case we uh, add a remove our authentication as part of the mock MVC request, we can also specify the user here. So here we can say the username will be Duke. And for the roles, we specify here admin. And with this, we can also make sure to run it. So this is just a different way of specifying the authenticated user for our test. But as you see, as the test is still green, both uh, ways actually work for testing our endpoint with the rest assured mock MVC support.